Hey gorgeous! So earlier today I walked out into the garage and found out that our hot water heater has pretty much died. This is what I saw. Oh my gosh! Oh crap! This no good! So it's being fixed at the moment and my husband said it's probably going to be a while. The water is going to be off so why don't you go ahead and do a shopping trip? You don't have to tell me twice. So we are going shopping. We are here at the mall. And the first pit stop that we have to make is to MAC. I love this lip color and I've been using a sample of it and I recently ran out of my sample. So I need to buy the full size. This is Max Ruby Woo. And you know how MAC is. You can't go into MAC without finding a few more things. And directly across from MAC there is a Sephora. So ah, all kinds of fun to be had. It is going to be no trouble at all killing the time that we need to kill to get this water heater fixed. <laughs> we are literally bumming it. I mean bumming it. Look at this. We got the jeans on and the tennis shoes. Hey, when we do makeup shopping, we do serious shopping. We need to be comfortable. Hmm, seems like an interesting store. I get distracted so easily by sparkly things. Look at that chandelier. Oh my gosh. And you have to see these pillows over here. Are those not the most gorgeous pillows? Mmm, I love that. What is that, uh, sheep? Sheep hair. Oh my gosh. Why didn't I not find this store when I was looking for pillows? Their way to heaven right there. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> you know you love shopping with me. Well, there's the next door. a new foundation and a new concealer here at MAC. It's the uh, Pro Longwear. I really like it. Look at that finish. So flawless. Kind of was like, hmm. Oh my gosh. I almost thought that was a little bit darker than the liner. Yeah. It's like coral. This is stone, which is kind of that killer gray. Everyone's wearing that kind of gothy oh killer gray. Yeah. Okay. The one up here is persistence. Persistence, yeah. And then the yellowish brown one right there. Naturally transformed. Naturally transformed. Yeah. Ooh, that's pretty. Yeah, that might be good. Well, we did some major damage at MAC. 
<laughs> and we were there for so long. I can't go to any other store because the mall is closing now. Boo! On our way out, I thought I would stop and check out Michael Kors. Pretty is that dress? Ooh, I love the shoulder detail. Look at that. Rare. Well, never mind. I just had a, an associate come up to me and shoo me out of the store. So I guess we better be going. La da. Time for a haul, and I'm very pleased to let you know that the water heater has been fixed. Ha! Huh? Thank goodness for hot water. Oh, and if you're interested in the look that I'm wearing today, this tutorial will be posting shortly. And if you're watching this video in the future, I will have it linked for you below. I just filmed this today. Out of nowhere, I got bit by the creative bug. So you already saw in the video that I was getting matched for a MAC foundation from the Pro Longwear line. So I ended up getting the foundation from the line and I am in shade NW13. I've had some questions in the past about my color in MAC. So it is NW13. I also picked up the Pro Longwear Concealer to use in conjunction with the foundation and that is in the shade NC15. And I'm wearing both of these products on my face today. And you can see the finish is simply beautiful. I am so happy with this foundation. I wore it last night after they did the application on my face in MAC. And I took it off at about 2.30 a.m. <laughs> And when I went to take it off, it looked just as good as when they had first applied it. It does not oxidize. It looks beautiful. So if you have been looking for a new foundation to try, highly recommend trying one from MAC. I also picked up the Crest Powder to go with the set since she sold me on it. She was talking about how wonderful the Pressed Powder was. And so this is in the shade Light, and it's just a simple pressed powder. What I liked about this when she applied it on me was that she didn't use much. And when she was applying the foundation, she was using this wonderful brush. And I loved the brush that she was using, so I had to have it. And it is the MAC 128. And what sold me on this brush is the dual functionality of it. So on this side, you're given the synthetic bristles, and then on the opposite side, you have the natural bristles. So you would use this to apply the foundation, the concealer, anything like that. And then on this side, you would apply the powder and use this to buff out the product on the face. It is such a soft brush. I've already used it today and I am in love. You get to see the brush with the foundation and the concealer and the powder application in the tutorial for this look, which will be coming very soon. It will be with the artist palette. So when you see the artist palette tutorial, that's what this look is. While I was in MAC, I was looking for a blush, something new to try. And I have really been loving MAC's Azalea in the Afternoon, but it's a limited edition blush. And the reason I like it is because it's a really light pink and it has that sheen to it, which is perfect for summer. So I wanted something peach like that with the same amount of shimmer. So the lady there showed me this amazing blush. This is from their recent collection. And this is in the shade Freshen Up, and it has all of the different colors in it. I like to just take the brush, swirl it around, and then use all of the colors like that. And I'm wearing it on my face today. You can see it's a very beautiful peach color. It has this shimmer in it. It's lovely. I also picked up two lipsticks. I've used these before, and I was really only using samples of them before, so I broke down and I bought the full size, finally. And the first one is Max Ruby Woo, and this is your typical matte red, and I feel like it's one of the best red colors that suits so many different people. If you have been trying to find a red for your complexion, I would recommend checking out Ruby Woo, because it's just one of those shades that I feel like looks great on everyone. I also picked up Angel, which is nothing more than a light pink. I love this one with a smoky eye. One of my favorites. I hope that you enjoyed this shopping trip and haul. Let me know if you've picked up any of these items, if you've tried them out, what you think about them, or if you've done a little shopping trip of your own and you found something so spectacular that you would love to share. We'd love to hear all about it. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.